of the Imitation of Christ by Thomas A. Kempis. Book 2. Admonitions Leading to the Spiritual Life. Chapter 7. Of the Love of Jesus Above All Things. Blessed is he who knows what it is to love Jesus, and to despise himself for the love of Jesus. We must quit what we love for this beloved, because Jesus will be loved alone above all things. The love of the creature is deceitful and fleeting. The love of Jesus is faithful and enduring. He who cleaves to creatures shall fall with that which totters. He who embraces Jesus shall be established forever. Love him and keep him for thy friend, who, when all go away, will not leave thee nor suffer thee to perish at the last. Thou must one day be parted from all things else, whether thou willest or not. Keep thyself with Jesus, both in life and in death, and commit thyself to his faithfulness, who, alone, can help thee when all else fail thee. Thy beloved is of such a nature that he will not accept that which belongs to another, but he will have thy heart for himself, and will sit as a king on his own throne. If thou didst but know how to free thyself entirely from every creature, Jesus would readily dwell with thee. Thou wilt find almost all lost which thou hast stored up in men apart from Jesus. Do not trust nor lean upon a reed shaken with the wind, for all flesh is grass, and all the glory thereof will fall as the flower of grass. Thou wilt soon be deceived if thou regard only the outward show of men. For if thou seek thy comfort and thy gain in others, thou wilt often meet with loss. If in all things thou seek Jesus, without fail thou wilt find Jesus. But if thou seek thyself, thou wilt find thyself indeed, but to thine own ruin. For a man is more hurtful to himself, if he seek not Jesus, than the whole world and all his enemies. And that concludes Chapter 7 of Book 2 of The Imitation of Christ.